I went viral last week and then I went nuts. I've been promised a passport. I never got it. My son won't talk to me. He won't even hug me. He's so cruel. And then he blames me for everything. He treats me like his father did. Neglectful. He was a rapist. And he raped me from any affection from my son. My blood's boiling again. Yeah, I had to have people check on me every 15 minutes. And it was such a goddamn nightmare. They did clinical trials on me. And the nurses knew about it and they can't do anything about it. He fucked me up on Thorazine. Then asked me to sign a goddamn waiver for Risperidol and Benadryl and some other goddamn drug. I chewed all my fucking fingernails off. Nobody wants to have anything to do with me. It's so painful. To be so fucking alone. <laughs> I feel like I did when I was 18 and I had brain surgery the first time. And nobody came to see me, not my brother. My sister just sat there and cried and then she got leukemia and told me that. <laughs> she told me. That her cancer was worse than having a brain tumor. And you all think so clearly. And it's so painful for me to think. I wish it was painful for all of you. Some fucking crazy cunt told me, That's not true. Oh yeah? Well, you don't have multiple sclerosis. She tried to say she... She tried to say she was having an aneurysm. She was so fucking nuts. Met another girl that had been trafficked. And the zipper gang got her. And that was so painful to know that somebody could hurt her so egregiously and not care. So it fucked me up. Worse than I already was. And nobody gives a shit, especially my son. Because he's turning into an emotional cripple just like his father. There's nothing I can do about it because he won't even try. And I tried. I even ended up in a mental institute for ten fucking days. My dogs were alone. I gotta answer this. It's my publisher. They gotta send me my second book. I gotta be happy about something. Because I've been so goddamn miserable. Because I didn't get a fucking passport like I was promised.